we have politics. But see, we've been confused and think, oh, we have to put this perfect lead out here. No, what you need to do is serve your people and work for the benefit of your people. And it's rather than working together for the benefit of my people, our politics will emerge. And to my brother Claudio Hello right there, one of my great heroes. We have to diagnose and analyze the situation. We cannot be misdiagnosing ourselves. We gotta understand. We have to learn, appreciate his education, teach ourselves. As the great Ngugi Wakiyama told us, right, in his great lesson on, on uh, the cultural bomb. But then he says, the goal is to teach us that death is holy. That somehow we should appreciate that we were taken over by the United States. That we should be thankful that George Washington cut down the cherry tree or whatever that mythology went on about. <laughs> and all your fathers and slave owners, my point is to understand it starts in the mind. It starts in the mind. As the great Dr. Hamani K. Trask taught us here at this university, empire demands death. Assimilation is death. Empire demands that they erase your mind. Empire demands that we are decultured and that our culture is replaced. And we start to see and measure the world in their standards. And we don't measure and see the world in our standards. See, empire necessitates that. It's required. For them to rule us through the hegemonic process, we have to become complicit to be one of being ruled. But you see, once your eyes and ears wake up, you start to think and you realize, I don't want to be ruled anymore. And then consciousness appears, you start to think and measure a different way. You start to see a different destination. You start to realize that I got to get over there. I'm not staying here anymore. And you start to organize, you start to serve, you start to do those things necessary to get to that point to be free. Another thing to remember is analysis. We don't have an economic problem for Hawaiians. See, that's a false statement. We have a political problem. The Bishop of State is worth between five and ten billion dollars on a good day. It's not that we don't got the money. The problem is Hawaiians don't control that money. Who's the bankers that control that money? Is it the Hawaiians? Think about that. And yet we run running around, oh, we got to do something economically. We don't have to do something. We got to get control and rest control over these private lands and resources. That's politics. The great Frederick Douglass also says, no struggle, no progress. For me, I push struggle. I push struggle. Struggle is good. Struggle makes us strong. If you're in a measure, where have we been? We've taken the greatest steps as a people. It's when we have struggled. Language and power, the power to name. And I'm sorry, I gotta run real quick to this. But if you don't know any of these definitions, you better learn. You better learn. No guess. Open up the dictionary. I hear people use this word, for example, inherent sovereignty all the time. What does the word inherent sovereignty mean? Tell me what it means. You go, it's the same as sovereignty. Go it. You better go read, understand. Yeah. What does this word indigenous mean? What does self godless mean? Seated lands. What's the correct terminology? Those are the Hawaiian kingdom from the government. No lands were ever seated. See, that's the fallacy. When you repeat the fallacy enough, you start to believe that somehow it was here. See, that's the game. But the good thing about the game, it can be quickly cleaned out. And yeah, just like a virus in your computer, you just gotta put the right, you know, information in, you can clean out the virus. The great Kaulia, talking about Lolo Haina, he told us, brain against brain, that's right, brain against brain. And he said, do not be afraid, be steadfast in Allah for your land and be united in thought. Protest, how long? Well. How long? Well. Oh, I've been waiting so long already, I've been waiting, how long? Well. He said forever. The annexation of Hawaii, unto when? The very last. Who the Lohaina people of here? Raise your hands. Yeah. Huh? We give it up already? Yeah. We give it up already? Yeah. I don't think so. You need to read, I'm sorry, no time to go to read what it says here. You gotta understand, this is Act 195, and check it out at the top. Approved by who? Approved by who? The governor. Not from the Hawaiian community. That's a lie, that's a scam. They never came from the Hawaiian community. You believe the governor and the state of Hawaii has the same concerns that we do have as a people? You gotta be foolish. 
painting your own. You gotta that what's the history of roles in the United States. Roles have never been used to empower native peoples. Roles have been used to disempower and steal land from native peoples. So check out the issue. Don't believe Kale Go, educate yourself. <laughs> a reorganized native Hawaiian government. I, I heard many times people talk about we want a Hawaiian government. We want a Hawaiian government. What does it say up there? Does it say government? What the hell is a governing entity? The neighborhood board is a governing entity. It doesn't say government, so stop the lies, tell the truth. See, it doesn't say government. So figure what the hell is an entity? That's the scam. Just because you put one in front of it doesn't mean it's a government for your people. You need to understand plenary power. You need to understand US Code 25, you guys know restrictions. You need to understand how much money was spent, whether it's Kanai Mawala, up to $5 million now. Whether it's $20 million put together, Akaka deal, Kawinoa. Lobbyists making millions of dollars. Millions. 